Hi there, it's Yasmin Boland. Welcome to Astrology with Yasmin for December 2017 here on Rescue. So the first thing to talk about this month is the fact that Saturn, the planet of lessons, uh, the planet associated with the sign of Capricorn, uh, the planet of tough, hard work and cold hard facts and ambition and professional success and all things sort of concrete and really stable and solid Saturn, Saturn is changing signs. Saturn only changes signs about once every two or so years. So the fact that Saturn's changing signs is already a big deal because it doesn't happen very often. But more than that, it's a big deal because Saturn is such an important planet in all our charts. So what I want to do before I go any further is I want to talk to you about where Saturn is going to be for you as of December 20. Okay, and uh, if you know your rising sign, listen to that uh, interpretation because it will be even more accurate for you. I'm not going to go into why that is, but in a nutshell, it basically gives you a, more like a personal reading with an astrologer right in front of you. If you only know your star sign, that's fine too, but it's more of a quick fix. So, Aries and Aries rising, Saturn is in your 10th house of career and ambition. So when you listen to the information that follows, listen to it through the lens of your career. For Taurus and Taurus rising people, it's actually in your 9th house, which is to do with study, teaching, travel, adventure, and the great cosmic quest. Okay, for Gemini and Gemini rising, it's taking place in your eighth house, which is your sex and money zone, and also the part of your chart where you keep all things taboo. Okay, so for Cancer or Cancer rising people, uh, Saturn is now in your seventh house of relationships and love, and also of enemies. Leo and Leo rising, Saturn's now in your sixth house of daily work and health. Uh, Virgo, Saturn's now in your fifth house of romance, creativity, and children. Libra and Libra rising, Saturn's now in your fourth house of home and family and where you feel you belong. Uh, Scorpio, Saturn's now in your third house, which is the, the house of your mind and communication uh, and uh, also to do with travel. Uh, Sagittarius, Saturn is now in your second house of uh, self-esteem, cash, property, possessions. Capricorn, Saturn is now in your first house, so it's affecting your whole life, okay? It's really big, Capricorn, Capricorn rising people. For Aquarian, Saturn is now in your 12th house, which is to do with uh, spirituality and also hopes and fears. And Pisces, Saturn is now in your 11th house, which is friends and uh, the groups that you belong to, uh, your shared uh, groups, networks, and also to do with your wishes. So if you read your stars for the month here on Rescue, you will see there's a great big chunk which tells you more about what Saturn in that part of your chart means for you. But I just wanted to talk briefly about uh, the energy of Saturn. So as I said, it can be tedious, it can be grueling, uh, but it's also the planet. Saturn's the planet that can be the making of us, okay? So they say Saturn never demands more of us than we can give. Saturn tests us to our limits. So over the next two or so years, you could find you are feeling tested to your limits in the part of your life that I just mentioned. But it's not all bad by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, as Saturn goes through Capricorn, Saturn's going to be making some very harmonious aspects to other planets. So in fact, there's going to be a lot of constructive energy in that part of your life as well. There's going to be a chance to tear a few things down and build them up again. Uh, the part of your chart, the part of your life that I just mentioned is now what you'd call a real hot spot because Saturn's moved into Capricorn and Pluto is already there. So especially for Capricorns and Capricorn rising people, Cancerians, Cancer rising people, it's a really intense time for you uh, because it's to do with your sign and also your relationship zone, which are obviously two very big parts of your chart. Plus the astrology of it means your actual sun, the essential you is going to be uh, tasting all this energy 
energy as well but it's important for everyone so think about the part of your chart that I mentioned and think about what lessons you need to learn think about your ambitions for that part of your chart what do you actually want to do in that part of your chart what's your ideal scenario what would make you feel stable and secure these are a few of the questions to start asking yourself now December 2017 as Saturn starts his long two-year journey through Capricorn and through one particular part of your chart. But wait, there's more, because in fact, it's not just Saturn and Pluto who are going to be in Sagittarius this month. We're also going to get Mercury, the planet of communications, retrograding in this part of your chart. Plus, we're going to have uh, Venus, the planet of love, uh, in Sagittarius. Plus, the new moon and the full moon are also in the opposing signs of Gemini and Sagittarius, so on the same axis. So basically, this whole part of your chart, this whole part of your life that I've mentioned, is really, really in focus. Now, the whole point with astrology, I mean, obviously, we all love to make predictions. And, you know, I can make you a prediction that whatever part of your chart I've mentioned, especially if you listen to your rising sign is going to be a big deal for you this month there is a chance for you to grow as a person there's a chance for you to learn some new skills there might be some teaching there might be some learning there's room for ambitions and also um, because it's the end of the year and because Saturn's involved and because Mercury's going backwards it's a really good time to like rethink your ambitions uh, firstly but also think about what do I want for 2018 it's a really 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 good time to do it okay so it's really a month to live consciously to think I want to learn I want to grow I want to have a more stable life it's a time to say for example say if you want more money you know uh don't rely on the lottery. Make a plan, okay? Saturn and Capricorn are a planet and a sign that love a plan. They love a strategy. This is not the time to be leaving things to chance, okay? And also, just be aware that the full moon this month is going to be taking place in the sign of Gemini, which is the mind planet. So it's going to be a really, really good time to make a list of all the things you want to just forget about, you want to leave behind, leave them behind in 2017 so that when we get to 2018, you have more or less something of a clean slate. And the full moon is going to be taking place on December the 4th. Okay, so it's quite early on in the month. Set aside some time that night or on December the 3rd to list the things that you're letting go from your life and then burn that list. So it's a really, really active month this month. There's tons in your monthly stars uh, about all, all that I've just mentioned and also how it will affect you particularly. Uh, remember to read your rising sign if you know your rising sign. Uh, and I've also put a link below to finding out your rising sign for free. I'm wishing you all the best for a fantastic uh, silly season, holiday season, uh, whatever season you're celebrating at this point. Have a wonderful time. Seek out family and friends. It is a really intense time, but it is also a period where if you work hard, if you're disciplined, including in relationships, you know, if you try not to act out in relationships, if you try and think, what do I want from this relationship? Anything you do now with a serious intention is going to start to prosper. It may not happen overnight because things with Saturn often don't happen overnight. But uh, if you rethink things, if you try harder, if you put some love into whatever it is that you are aiming to achieve, especially as you look towards 2018, I guarantee you the stars will support you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for listening and I'll be back next month with a look at the stars for 2018 and the year ahead.